Hello everyone, welcome to this uh, tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, we will talk about the course region OSS application with function compute. So here is the agenda. We will talk about the objective, the topology, and then come with the demo. Okay, um, the objective is quite simple. It's to provide a cross region OSS application. And currently there is uh, two solutions. One solution is to use the uh, so-called OSS import tools to uh, manually schedule a, a task to one at one region and then try to use that command to copy um, the content from one region to another, another region because basically um, cross-region OSS content application is not yet available and alternatively um, uh, we will use the function compute which is a event-based trigger to synchronize the file change from one source to another one here is the topology we would like to discuss. Um, in this topology, we will involve uh, several things. One, of course, we will get uh, the uh, two bucket. One is the uh, function compute source. It can be any region which has the function compute enabled, which is quite essential because without the FC, we are no, have no way to enable it. Uh, another bucket is uh, the sync, uh, which can be any any region used to copy the file to. And uh, we also need to deploy our function compute project in the same region as the uh, bucket source. Um, we will see that from the region. In this example, we will use the Hong Kong region and the Shenzhen region, uh, which doesn't provide the native OSS replication. And uh, when we create some uh, files in the bucket, it will trigger the function compute event. And um, when the object is created or the object is deleted, this change will replicate to the sync. Um, here is the high level step of the uh, topology. First of all, we will uh, need to create bucket in the source region and then we will create a bucket in the target region and uh, we will then uh, create a, compute, a function compute service in the source region and then we will create a function and then upload the code to the project and then we will create a trigger uh, based on the OSS event. Uh, the function compute also, because it's a function, it can accept some parameter. So in this example, we, we define a few parameter. One is the OSS endpoint, which is the source OSS uh, endpoint address. You can get the address from the OSS console. And uh, the same bucket, which is the target bucket name, when you try to replicate from the source to the target, we need to specify where the bucket we, we try to copy to. And then uh, finally, the parameter is the sync endpoint which is the target OSS endpoint. It can be the same region or different region depends on your choice. Um, after we deploy those functions we uh, below is the expected behavior. When the file is uploaded in our source bucket under the particular prefix it will automatically replicate to the target OSS bucket under the config file folder name. And uh, also when the file is deleted in the source uh, with the particular prefix, you will try to delete the same file in the target bucket as well. Okay, so here is the demo time. In this uh, demo, we will try to uh, quickly implement all those uh, object creation and the code, code and upload. And um, you will involve some coding and uh, uh, you can remember this URL and the link can be, uh, and the source code can be available from this, uh, this uh, uh, GitHub project. Yeah. Okay, so uh, right now we will try to switch to the um, browser to get the uh, admin control. This is the uh, iRing uh, uh, admin console. And uh, first of all, we need to create a different bucket. To create a bucket, you first need to have an uh, iCloud account and then go to the object storage page and then click the uh, create bucket, bucket uh, button. You can give the name and then uh, also the region. Um, remember, remember the region has to be uh, with function compute enabled and then you can click OK, OK to create. And for the same thing, you need to create the uh, bucket in your target. For the time being, uh, we already create two uh, buckets. One is the FC source, which is located in Hong Kong region. And other is the FC sync, which is located in the Shenzhen region. And to get the uh, OSS endpoint 
actually we can go to um, the overview page and then you will see that um, this is the uh, endpoint for uh, this is the endpoint for those uh, uh, different buckets okay uh, after create a bucket we have to uh, create a function compute project we can go to the uh, console and then you can see the function compute is under elastic computing page and you can go to function compute and then uh, remember to select the region which uh, is same as your uh, uh, source bucket deployed and then you can create a surface you give it the name and then do some description and then click OK and once you create a surface you can go into the surface and create a required function this is the page you uh, I created earlier to store those uh, trigger and in this page you can see that the total usage of this project and the uh, billable resources and uh, not to mention that the uh, function compute is compute by the uh, memory size plus the execution time so it's quite scalable and easy to handle massive amount with a predictable uh, cost okay so uh, after we create a service we create a function by creating the quick function uh, for, the, for our function compute, we can implement our logic in different language, uh, which support Java 8, Node.js, and Python. And in this example, we will create a Java 8 project. And then um, you, you have to choose the trigger, which uh, um, trigger the function to, to execute. In this example, because we want to uh, trigger the function when the OS event is created, so the trigger type should be the OSS. And we give them the name. And the target bucket you want to uh, we want to working on, and the event we want to listen. So um, to listen those uh, object creation uh, and the decision event, we have to select um, the object creation event and also the object remove the event. Okay, and then for this uh, triggering rules, this is the prefix I mentioned before. So if you don't uh, specify the prefix, which means that every object you put into this packet will be uh, uh, triggering this event, which may not be the, the result you want. In this example, we just want to trigger those uh, fold, uh, files within the same folder. So uh, we have to specify this as the prefix. You can also use the suffix as the triggering point. It's up to you to decide how to uh, uh, narrow down the triggering uh, uh, boundary. And then you give the name of your function call. Um, and then you can choose the, the one time you want. You can upload uh, your code from uh, the zip file or from the OSS as well. Um, we, we recall that we ha have to um, config our variable uh, so we need to specify our OSS endpoint and also those uh, bucket lamp as well as the target OSS endpoint which can obtain from the uh, OSS page and then um, you um, define your event handler in this case is the package name plus the cast name plus the uh, handler name And you choose uh, how much memory to execute the logic um, and uh, how much time it can allow to execute in this case we just uh, because the logic is quite simple we don't need so much memory and uh, if the process one lo long, uh, longer than 60 seconds you will, you will terminate by itself okay we already grant all the necessary uh, 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 SS and then we have to uh, choose the permission we required. Uh, simply click the authorize and you will get it done. Okay, this is the way um, we create the logic. You, you get it because we yeah, lot, yeah, upload, upload the code. So uh, 
right now when we go back to our uh, environment to see how to upload the code by our uh, put the command line. Okay, this is the uh, IDE I use. Uh, in that you can be any command uh, like uh, programming tools or, or, or the IDE. So um, first of all, um, if you check out the project, it's from our GitHub. Actually, you can download all the source code mentioned in this uh, this video. And the command to compile is the Maven command to create a package. Um, it will download all the necessary package dependency and then pack the jar files automatically. So um, you will uh, locate at the target folder. And this is the file we want we have to upload. Okay, we also have another tools called FCLI, which is the tools which uh, use the command way to interact interact with our function compute. So uh, we have the FCLI shell, which will be an interactive shell. We can do the LS to list all the function uh, compute project in this uh, folder. And uh, we create the same, same project before. So we go to the same. Okay, and then uh, next step is we have to upload the code. Uh, remember, uh, we have to upload the code in uh, compiled in different projects uh, in different folder, so this is the command we try to upload the code, and then it will take some time to upload to the uh, uh, function compute log, and when it is returned, it's okay. So uh, we will go to the browser again to use the browser to test the basic function of the uh, function compute. Okay, so this is the source and the sync. Um, for the source, uh, we uh, can be a uh, VMT thing the, the folder first then to make sure the thing is also uh, empty okay um, and then we try to upload a file it can be single file or multiple file and in this case we try to upload several files and when it's ready uh, we jump. You can see that from the from the local the uh, local folder, the source can only contain all those files uploaded. And what about the same target? Uh, we will see that the uh, file is also there as well. This is the way how we replicate those uh, incremental change to the uh, destination. And also, in case we try to remove from the source, it will also automatically um, propagate the change as well. So in this case, we remove those files. So uh, the target should only have the local doc gif, uh, the JPEG left. Okay, we will see that the result as expected. So this is the way how we uh, leverage the function compute. In this case, you don't need to have a separate ECS instance to run those uh, synchronization logic and it's all UN-based checker and pay-as-you-go. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Bye-bye.